Hi guys and welcome to another edition of the General Cherry Channel and ladies and gentlemen we will be breaking down your raw preview right now. Um, <clears throat> I've uploaded uh, three videos right now, actually four. One is on the Meek Mill uh, 50 Cent feud that's going on right now and three WWE news stories. One is Hulk Hogan not going to be at WrestleMania 32. There's details on that if you go on the video. The other one is Sonny saying the N-word. Yes, that's right ladies and gentlemen, Sonny is in a racist row. Rumours are now saying she might even be kicked out of the Hall of Fame, so um, we'll wait until the story develops there. But if you do want an update right now, the video is available right now on my channel. And the other one is AJ Styles not being at the Royal Rumble. Rumours are now saying that he will be in a post-Raw, um, after a post Royal Rumble Raw um, and that is what they're saying for him so those three videos are available right now if you're a WWE fan you gotta take that time to subscribe because the news just keeps coming here on the General Jerry channel and um, you know let's get in it let's not waste any time this uh, comes courtesy of WWE.com it is your five point preview right now and what what we're doing, if you are new to this right now, what we do is this gives us a better understanding of how Raw is going to be, what's going to happen, and it's going to let us know what is going to go down. Uh, will Chaos interrupt on the highlight reel? Um, Brock Lesnar has taken Roman Reigns to Suplex City before, but the Big Dog's burial... Uh, um, a brutal undercover with the Beast incarnate on Raw last night was painful for multiple reasons. Um, he will be featured on Chris Jericho's uh, uh, Chris Jericho's show, the highlight reel. And um, yeah, uh, you know the last time Brock was in in kind of an interaction with Chris Jericho, it didn't work out so well. He actually beat the crap out of Chris Jericho. Um, this was when Chris Jericho was calling out Paul Heyman. They were supposed to fight against each other for a WWE poll. General Jerry remembers the more you know. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, so following a savage dis display of aggression, Lesnar will appear on Chris Jericho's highlight reel, among with Paul Heyman. What questions will Y2J have for the Beast Incarnate? No matter what happens, the Big Doll will be bo will be watching, believe that. Um, what I predict in this segment is that um, Roman Reigns will take advantage of Brock Lesnar, and he will try and beat Brock Lesnar down. Um, and that's what I think will happen. Um, social disorientation right now um, with the eight man tag match victory on Smackdown Thursday night it's clear Heath Slater, Curtis Axel, Adam Rose and Bo Dallas um, are on a roll no we can't believe it either um, the social outcasts have apparently can has cemented themselves as WWE's latest fraction can we expect this unusual of social media friendly superstars to become champions in the near future plus what impact Will the newly formed group have on the Royal Rumble match? Nothing much, to be honest with you. We're probably going to have a segment between them. Um, hopefully they highlight Heath Slater a little bit more rather than him, you know, um, just, you know, being a throwaway and getting beaten up by the big show. Um, the people that might be involved is Adam Rose, Bo Dallas, uh, Curtis Axel, Heath Slater, um, Damian Sandow, uh, Jack Swagger, and Zack Ryder is expected to be involved in this segment. It might be boring. You never know. It could be complete garbage. Uh, will Charlotte accept Becky Lynch's Royal Rumble Challenge? Um... After the after attacking Charlotte on Raw, Becky Lynch made it clear on Thursday night that she's more than ready for a Divas Championship, um, a challenge that was yet to be accepted by the second generation title holder. If the Irish last kicker brings the same level intensity as as the Divas title about, she is brought to SmackDown where she soundly defeated Brie Bella. Then Charlotte Reign could be in danger on January 24th. Will the daughter of Ric Flair respond to her former friend? So basically what we're expecting in this segment is um, Becky Lynch, Ric Flair, Charlotte talking and then they'll eventually make a match at the Royal Rumble. Um, probably going to be boring. Um, the fact that this is still going on. You know, and I like Becky Lynch. I really hope she does win the championship. Charlotte has just been an afterthought, really. Um, and it's unfortunate because I like Ric Flair. Um, so, yeah. Can Kalisto reclaim the U.S. title? It was fun while it lasted. Um, the upset victories on Raw when Kalisto captured uh, Alberto Del Rio's championship. Um, exclusive Del Rio comments on winning the title back as well. Uh, Kalisto will be proudly carrying um, the title to Raw. Uh, would he be then? So it does look likely that they might be doing a match on Raw again. Um, so can he reclaim the US title again? It does look like Del Rio um, will face Kalisto a third time 
once, twice, three times a lady. Um, so they might be doing that. Uh, last lunatic standing, Dean Ambrose declared on SmackDown that that at the Royal Rumble event he'll defend his Intercontinental Championship against Kevin Owens in a last man standing match and an unforgiving spec uh, situation that seems more than fitting for WWE's most destructive rivalries. Um, for weeks now, the lunatic fridge and the prize fighter have torn each other apart, etc., 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 blah, 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 blah. Basically, they're going to be leading up to this fight and we're going to have... Uh, Dean Ambrose and Kevin Owens in a match, last man standing at the Royal Rumble, and um, yeah, <coughs> uh, yeah, it's only just really going to be building up right now, and that's it. That's your five point preview. Um, <coughs> things to look out for. Not really much. All of this is going to be building up. Uh, the Royal Rumble. I think that they have to put on a great show tonight for the 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 buys right now especially for casual fans um this will be the raw that casual fans will be checking out and that's where the money is so they may bring out the big guns for this show if not then it's you know then they have i don't know what they're gonna do um but they need to get the the buys for the wwe network and for tv buys as well um and that's what they're looking for here on this raw because a lot of casual viewers that don't really watch wrestling that much will be involved and we are now in the wrestling season ladies and gentlemen there will be full coverage right now on the general jerry channel um i will be you know i will be you know, hopefully when my internet works here um it seems to be doing okay right now but um i might do a raw review tonight i don't know we'll see how it goes um but i've just did this raw preview and then if not then i'll do the raw review tomorrow um, but definitely keep an eye out in case I do a raw review um, tonight. Um, it will be like a short review. It won't be like, you know, shit like that because, you know, I have to stay up till 4 in the morning and shit like that. So I am looking I am looking forward to this raw. I think it will be good. Fingers crossed it's a good show. Um, they definitely need to get the buys on this show. And that's it. That's your raw preview. Not really that much really to say right now. It's pretty uncertain. Um... Let's go through maybe some of your top stories. Oh, yeah, by the way, forgot to say this. I'm actually, there might be another video uploaded soon in case it happens. Um, obviously, I haven't made a video on this because I don't want to mislead people. I don't want, you know, people to um, be misled. Um, and, um, yeah, basically, the reason why um, is because apparently Daniel Bryan might be fired today um he might announce it on raw it might be announced later on ww.com we will have to wait and see uh, we actually have some more breaking news a porn company wants to buy sonny's ww hall of fame ring um obviously uh, this news came out um is uh, a while ago actually um um she uh, she i don't think she's going to be giving it up though i um, think she said she wouldn't do it um WWE Royal Rumble 2016 new bookies favorite are revealed. Let's go through the odds right now. Be pretty interesting to see. Triple H is five to four to five. Uh, Roman Reigns is eleven to eight. Brock Lesnar is eleven to five. Bray Wyatt is ten to one. Um, so you know if you put a pound on Bray Wyatt, you might win ten pound or ten dollars. Um, Daniel Bryan is twelve to one. Rusev is fourteen to one. Sheamus is sixteen to one. The Rock is sixteen to one. The Undertaker is eighteen to one, and Dean Ambrose is eighteen to one. Um, obviously, the top three favorites are Triple H, Roman Reigns, and Brock Lesnar. I will be doing a prediction show on Saturday, and then on the General Jerry show, which is on Friday. We're gonna have the let the fans have their say on Friday when we do a live show on the General Jerry show live on Friday night. Um, it is your Friday night delight ladies and gentlemen the general jerry show a lot of you seem to love the show and i'm really glad when i returned that i st started this show and all of you fans seem to love it so um but yes the three favorites going right now is triple h roman reigns brock lesnar and um yeah <clears throat> pretty interesting stuff right now um funny how bray Wyatt is 10 to 1 um daniel bryan actually you know i, I don't know if he's going to be cleared or not but if he is cleared um, it might be worth putting a little cheeky two pound on that just in case, you know, Daniel Bryan wins. But, you know, a lot of you might be wondering, Jerry, you can't bet on this. Um, actually, you can. Um, Sky Bat and Paddy Power actually do betting for professional wrestling. Bet you didn't know that um, because it's kept a secret and shit like that. Uh, also, the Royal Rumble is a favorite for people doing a bet on. And um, 
my pick so far is Brock Lesnar, but again, I'll hold my judgment until I watch Raw, see how things pan out. Triple H is obviously a big favourite as well. He's actually the number one favourite is Triple H, but it could be Brock Lesnar or Roman Reigns. Um, it's looking likely Roman Reigns might not win it, but again, ladies and gentlemen, we will have to wait and see. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to say. AJ Styles, um, who is expected to make his WWE debut earlier in the Rumble or soon after, he is the 11th favourite and he is 20-1 to 1 to win it. Um, also, Finn Balor is 25-1, to 1, Sami Zayn is 33-1, to 1, Vince McMahon himself is 40-1, to 1, so if you put a bet on Vince McMahon, you could win £40 or $40. Um, Sting and another New Japan superstar, Nakamura, they are both at 40-1. to 1. Um, so, uh, but staying, the chances of him coming back is pretty slim. Would be pretty awesome, but um, we'll have to wait and see on that. And that is your bookies, your bookies for that. And Scott Hall wants to be a full-time WWE trainer um, as well. And uh, that's all your news. So I, I've covered most of it. Um, on my channel, uh, I will have to wait and see about the Daniel Bryan situation. As soon as that news breaks out, I will let you guys know ASAP. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. This is General Jerry on the General Jerry channel, signing out.